You've heard about the dark side of the internet. You try to convince yourself that you are not interested in the dark net when you hear about it. But be honest, you want to know more. But you have reservations. You know that if you ever enter there, you might just not make it back out. You think the dark net is a place where drug dealers, hitmen and terrorists live la vida loca and do dark business with bad people from the outside world. Think again after watching this. To begin with, the dark net now turns out to be pretty much like the internet was before big corporations such as Google and Amazon took over. Basically, before your online fingerprint was left on everything that you touched online. In the dark net, bad and good hombres buy and sell services. And instead of national currencies, they mainly use cryptocurrencies. If you've heard of bitcoins, then you know what these kinds of currencies are. Cryptocurrencies are the hundreds of digital currencies created after the first, Bitcoin. They are often called altcoins, and in 2017, there are almost a thousand of them. Now, mind-blowing fact. Cryptocurrencies are also used in the outside real physical world for things as innocent as buying a pizza. It just happens that their usage is more private, which is attractive to some people and not just for illegal activities. Basically, every person dealing with cryptocurrencies is free to buy or sell anything while keeping their identity private. In addition, these transactions are safer, faster and cheaper. If you buy something from another country with cryptocurrencies, the transaction will take minutes and the fees are practically 0%. Compare this against the few days a bank transfer takes and the fee of up to 10% that banks and credit card companies keep for themselves. For example, every year $500 billion are transferred from developed countries to developing ones in remittances. The average banking fees for that amount is 8.4%, while Bitcoin transfers get 2% fees. That means that less money from the people is going to the banks and more to the people. Yes. Cryptocurrencies are independent from banks, and that is something banks don't like. They are also independent from governments. Again, that's something governments don't like. So, are cryptocurrencies as dark as banks and governments tell us they are? Or is that opinion biased by the fact that cryptocurrencies escape the restrictions from banks and institutions and therefore don't provide any profit to them? Cryptocurrencies themselves are independent from the use people make out of them. Just like our everyday physical money, it can be used to buy clothes and cars, but also to buy drugs and weapons. They are just currencies that happen to be digital. It all comes down to one big question. Why would anyone prefer to have cryptocurrencies? Apart from the privacy, safety and lower fees, it is a decentralized currency non-dependent on financial crisis, central banks or government policies. It can also be used to purchase goods and services in many countries and from more than 100,000 merchants that include big ones like PayPal, Microsoft and Dell. Today, you can even find Bitcoin ATM machines. More countries are adapting to the decentralized currency trend, which leads many to integrate cryptocurrency exchanges into their financial institutions. Almost all large banks have invested in blockchain solutions. In fact, the Russian central bank is even planning to introduce its own cryptocurrency. Even more recently, companies have begun to allow you to invest in them via digital currencies through so-called ICOs or initial coin offerings. Are we witnessing the beginning of a decentralized stock market? But most importantly, cryptocurrencies can be traded, just like any other currency you can buy and sell cryptocurrencies and make a profit out of it. As you see, there isn't much left of dark net dominance when it comes to cryptocurrencies. On the contrary, cryptocurrencies have a fairly high chance to become the core of the future of finance. It is too late to roll it back, and this train is moving fast. If trading is your thing, you'll have to deal with cryptocurrencies sooner or later. But bear this in mind. This is all new stuff and you will have to assimilate new information and new habits on how to handle your digital money. Many technical and regulatory aspects of the crypto world will still change massively. So before you jump into this new world, 
check out the dedicated cryptocurrencies course at Tradermo and prepare yourself for all scenarios.